Okay, let's take a walk around this uh, 1974 Land Rover Lightweight, obviously Series 3, um, that's just come into us. Finished in NATO green. Um, quite a nice spec this one. It's got overdrive, uh, but it's also got a matching set of 750 by 16 military spec tyres on it, which um, matching set of four. The spare is a Goodyear one, uh, but the other ones are all pretty new. Um, single fuel tank, the other one's been converted into a toolbox. Uh, it's got NATO tow hitch on the uh, proper military front bumper. Looks like it's got a Kenlo fan hiding under the bonnet. Um, what else have we got? Inside we have um, the previous owners built this box to cover the batteries. Or the battery rather, because it's a 12 volt one now. Started life as a 24 volter. Um, it's got <coughs> excuse me, a radio CD with MP3 uh, with iPod little um, plug in there. Um, probably can't hear it but apparently it's quite good it's got a heater as well which does actually work um, it's got these um, later style techno cloth Exmoor trim seats um, and the previous owners fitted uh, headrest to the rear bar up here um, it's also got full cage in the back uh, which we'll come on to over there the ring. Um, in the back here we've got matching techno rear seats, pair of rear benches, so strictly speaking it's a six-seater and it has got seat belts. Um, and so the full cage, the cage goes up there and round there and what have you. On the back here we've got proper tow pack uh, with electrics, the um, NATO uh, bumperettes and what have you. Anyway, let's walk around and pick out some good bits and bad bits. Um, it's quite heavily patinated, should we say. Um, very, very sort of... Uh, uh, military style paintwork but um, I, I, I quite like it actually it's uh, but the paintwork is if you like quite heavily patinated um, it's been brush painted whether it was done in the army or subsequently I don't really know but um, it has obviously you know it's, it's very very matte and uh, all sorts of all sorts of greens um, have been put on it over the years it's currently obviously an IRR drab obviously the bonnet is um, very very patinated in fact that may well have been a, a beige bonnet at some point um, but around here all looks good looks all correct up on the scuttle corner up here and along the edge of the uh, bottom edge of the scuttle along there it looks fine um, looks okay in there Inside here, passenger footwell obviously has been welded in the past, but um, looks okay. Um, Seat-wise, the seats are a bit grubby, and the driver's seat has got a split in the, uh, the techno cloth. But uh, okay, apart from that, um, and all the dashes all complete. The hood, whilst it's a bit grubby and weathered on the outside, it is actually. Um, there's no holes in it or anything that shouldn't be there. It's also got the side windows in the hood as well, which is uh, quite nice to have. Gives a bit of extra light. Um, along here all looks okay. Looks okay under there. We will be selling it with 12 months MOT at the minute. So MOT to July, but it will come with a fresh MOT. Uh, it's got the correct split tailgate on it. It's all as it should be. It's just missing its Land Rover badge, which should go there. In the back here, again, slightly grubby seats. There's a grubby mark on both ends of the uh, the rear seat there and stuff, but um, nothing more than that. Rear window is quite nice in this one. Looking down the offside, correct and straight as it should be. Under the back end here, all looks okay under there. It's got the correct military cross member on it. Um, on this side, let's have a look in there. The door frame's got a little bit of rust in the bottom on the driver's side, but no more than that. Footwell looks good. Passenger door looks okay, actually. Didn't really get much of a look at that. Scuffle corner, it's okay there. It's got the correct split scuttle on it. Yeah, that looks as it should be there. Let's have a look at the uh, scuffle top. It's all fine. There we have it, really. Let's say, nicely, nicely patinated, nicely weathered, but um, a rather nice, uh, quite.
quite well sorted, um, lightweight as well. That's about it. My name's Simon. You can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495 or you can go to our website which is www.motodrome.co.uk for any further info. We take part exchanges, we take Visa and MasterCard, credit cards and debit cards with a 2% surcharge for credit cards and we can have it shipped or delivered anywhere you like in the world, obviously the cost. That's about it. End.